Today we are going to talk about replacing the thermocouple on an even heat. And that is a TAP, what do we got here? A TAP 2322. Now, it's not just going to be for the even heat. These same principles apply for a lot of different kilns. This is what we'll be replacing today. And as you can see, it burnt all the way through. Sorry, I've got clay all over my hands. Can we see that? Yeah, it burnt all the way through. So this thing needs to come out. Always unplug the kiln before you get started. So this is what the thermal couple looks like. Now you can buy just this part if this is all you need. Now if your kiln is older, if you've had some problems, you might need the whole assembly. Um, this was about $30. The whole assembly, uh, when I checked, it was like 128 So try this first. <laughs> if you can get by with it. And I'll show you what it looks like. This is a ceramic. Pull this down a little bit. There you go. And if you can see this, that's the weld that goes bad. And I've seen on here where you can just buy these rods without the ceramic, but honestly, why? Because the ceramic wears out too, um, and it breaks. And here's the end. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to install this. Okay, what you need is really some nut drivers for these. You can use pliers, but that's very, very aggravating. Now the dogs are in here, so sorry, I'm not really breathing heavy into the microphone. <laughs> it's the two mutts. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna use the fourth inch, fourth of an inch nut driver. That's what fits these for this kiln. You'll just have to kind of figure out what yours is. Right here is what we're looking at. That and that. Keep in mind that there's a red wire and a yellow wire. It's important that you get these put back exactly where they go. Because here, let me see where I'm at. There's a red tip and a yellow tip. Okay, so after getting the right size screwdriver for the job, this is falling off of there. <laughs> Let's see, see if we can zoom in a little bit. What we're going to do is you can see where it's put in here and here. So we're just going to loosen these. We're not going to take them off. And then this will slide directly out. This holds on because of this weld. So we're going to take the rubber bands off. And the red goes here. And there you go. That broke just by moving it around. That's how fragile these things are. But it's going to be fine because it's still on there. All right, we're going to put it back in here now. Remember, the yellow and the red, the yellow and the red. Take a picture of everything before you start working on a kiln. Because you think you'll remember, but you won't. Chances are you'll get confused because you'll get aggravated with something and then it will just make it worse.
Everything's in there. And we're going to test it to see how it works. Now these insulators, I'm going to keep these because as you can see just a second ago, the slightest little tap will break these things. Now I'm going to throw the rods away because they're not any good. But I'm going to keep these insulators. Now let's plug the kiln back in and give it a test. All right, everything's working fine. As you can see, I'm on one of four. No error messages. Everything's good. Okay, because you hung in this long, I'm going to give you a sneak peek of what's to come. Some very special things are in the works. Tune in and you'll see what's happening next.